Hello and welcome back. I'm gonna be doing a little decoration tour around my house because I have done, or we, my husband and I, have done so many things to our living room and our bedroom. And then we have some updates that we wanna to do to other parts of the house that I'm going to share with you. But I feel like it's just kind of overdue at this point where I show a little bit of the changes that we've made in the home because I've never really talked about how we've painted our house black. And the reason behind behind it, the name of the color, and all of that detail. So if you want to know what the heck we've been doing to our house, stay tuned. First of all, cheers with the Cafe Olay. And one more thing before I get started, shout out to my friend Kate who gave me the shoes that I'm wearing right now. These are Givenchy vintage heels and I'm going to wear them throughout this entire video because they make me feel like a goddess. It's been a hot minute since I've been in some high heel shoes, so one of my toes is screaming bloody murder. But we're gonna make it through this, because then after this, <laughs> I get to sit on my couch. But welcome to the home tour. Let's start off by talking about the paint. We decided to go with a color called Pitch Black from Pharaoh and Ball. And the reason why I chose this color is honestly because there is an English YouTuber named Lydia and I have been watching her videos for many years. And finally in one of her videos, she mentions the name of the color and the brand. And once I got that information, I knew right away that's what I wanna do with our house because they had similar molding to us. We have the original molding that came with the house. Our house was built in 1911. You'll see as we tour through it that there is a lot of original features of the home from the early 1900s and one of those is this gigantic banner of molding around the base. I absolutely love it. Sorry if the audio keeps going in and out but I can't mic myself throughout this so we're just gonna go it this way. So we really wanted to be thoughtful about the things that we did to the house. Not that these are ever for intent to sell because we don't really intend on selling our house. We even said if we got a second home that we would still keep this house just because we love it so much. It's our first ever home that we've purchased and this was a huge dream of mine my whole life pretty much to be a homeowner. I wanted a house that was mine. This was really truly a dream. Our home is a craftsman. In the 1900s, craftsmen were really popular in the Pacific Northwest in general. So you can see them all throughout Seattle, all throughout the suburbs surrounding Seattle. We're in the lower end of Seattle. So that's just, you know, the typical house that you see around here. It's quintessential. And I love the look of them. I call them granny houses. I feel like they have this kind of granny vibe to them. And you'll see, especially with the built-in hutch that we have, that it's got that granny feel. And I, I've been a granny at heart my whole life. We really just go with what our heart tells us and what we think is true to us and our style. Now, the painting behind me is also kind of a little nod to us as tattooed people. It is a piece of artwork that his friend did. So this is a tattoo artist named Levi. He works, I think, out of LA now, but he was a Seattle based tattoo artist. When my husband saw that Levi was making these panels, he thought how perfect would it be to have four of them put into a frame with the black flag staggered effect. So one of them is a rose, one is a tiger, one is a rose with a snake and then a dragon. We really wanted everything to be intentional. And so this piece is something I think is just amazing. It looks great against the black wall. We got these LED lights. They actually can change from warm to cool and they're recharged so you just plug them in, recharge them, and then you can put them back up. I believe these are called swan neck lights. I'll link them below if anybody is interested. They're really not that expensive. Well, you know what? They were. They were actually a little pricey, I think, but it came in a pack of two. So I guess if you think about it, you're buying two lamps. So I think they were around 40 to 50 bucks. Here is a area of the house that when we first moved in, I squealed. I couldn't believe that I was going to be living in a home that had a built-in granny hutch. The person who we rented this from, it was her mother's house. And based off of her age, that means that her mother was the original owner. So it really has only had like maybe three owners and that's including us. Then it was just a rental house for a really long time. So other people have lived throughout this house, but it was only owned by her mother, herself, and then now us. So I really like to keep this area 
kind of decorated but not over the top during christmas this whole area gets a little wild with decorations but i'm kind of still trying to find ways to dial it back without it looking too empty because i also don't want to look like it's not lived in so there's a fine balance and then i do genuinely use it for the function that it has which is storing things for hosting so this light fixture installs up in the ceiling like this it has adjustable little wires that come down and then it is an led so you can change the light color from yellow to white you can turn it up and down dimming it has all sorts of different cool features to use with it with a little remote i do want to get a different table this one is okay we got it when we were kind of just putting furniture in the house in general and we're just looking for something that was functional and that we thought was okay but it really isn't anything special for the centerpiece i usually like to just keep some sort of flowers or dry flower arrangements there at all times right now we just have this beautiful hydrangea one that has has been lasting forever thank goodness we're honestly not going to go too far into it here this is just the bathroom we are currently planning a whole decoration redesign of this so stay tuned for that i'm sure it will involve some new paint on the walls some wallpaper some new light fixtures possibly even new mirrors so this will definitely get an overhaul so it's exciting because we have that coming. This is another room that will be renovated soon. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of the areas that we plan on giving some love to. This is gonna get new paint, new bedding, new curtains, but this bed is so cozy and it's a queen, believe it or not. So we were able to fit a queen bed in here. So when our guests come to stay, you've got your accommodations. You've got a very cozy bed. You've got plenty of pillows. I always make sure that the side table is stocked with things that they need, little to toiletries and, you know, I put like shampoo and conditioner in there like a hotel. I always try to make it feel like somebody's staying in a hotel when they come in here. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the living room section and I'm gonna kind of go through a few things that I think are fun decor to talk about. This is something if you follow me on social media that you see all the time and it is this huge mirror that my husband got on a job that he was doing. A lot of times these industrial jobs as an electrician when he has to install lighting behind huge mirrors which he did they had the tiniest little nick on the corner and that was enough for them to say we don't want it order a new one and he was like oh my gosh this huge mirror is so expensive and so nice I don't want to just throw it away and he asked if he can have it so we had our brother-in-law who is a carpenter make a frame for it and we actually installed it onto the wall so that will not budge that mirror is there not going anywhere Doop. See, great outfit mirror. Here's a piece of artwork that my husband actually found and this is a artist in New Zealand. He's a tattoo artist in New Zealand, but he also does artwork and most tattooers do. So if you're looking for somebody to commission to make some amazing artwork for your house, tattoo artists don't just do tattoos. Most of them paint. Most of them do amazing artwork. So we ended up going with a local owned small business and the framers were so good and friendly and helpful. They did an amazing job, a little bit pricey to get a custom frame, but if you're looking for artwork for your home, to me, that is something worth investing in. So we have the bird artwork on the left and I knew that I didn't want more artwork on the right. I wanted something that was a little bit more three-dimensional. That's when I started Googling all the different types of things that you can use for wall art that were on Etsy that were bespoke. I wanted something handmade. I found this carpenter, her name is Carpenter Katie, and she makes these what she calls wall pockets. Wall pockets are pieces of wood that you can customize to any stain that you want, and also there's various shapes and sizes. You can go small, medium, large. There's a lot of different options, and then you can think of what you wanna put in there yourself. You can put real flowers in there if you get a little wall vase, so that could actually display actual flowers. I really liked the look of the eucalyptus and the willow. I just think it makes it kind of look a little bit well, first of all, I don't have to think about it, so it could just sit there. To have a piece of bespoke, really cool, unique art, I think is amazing. So it really balances out the side of the wall. It fit there perfectly. We didn't want to go with a light on this one because we just didn't want to overdo it. My husband did install that one and it's kind of like a copper inside with a black exterior with the Edison bulb inside. Something else that we did do when we were fixing up all of this is we replaced the blinds in the living room with wood that was matching the colors that we were going for. And they have this little valance panel that goes across the top that's very decorative and it looks like molding. I love the little ring pulley to be able to open and close and it's dark dark wood so 
when you close it, it makes it so dark. And then we have curtains that we pull over as well. So we ended up hanging the TV on the wall and I love the way that looked. It made all the difference in the house. I say put a little bit of extra money into a TV stand and get that thing up on a wall. You can swivel it, it turns in different directions. I just think it makes such a big difference having the TV hanging up. This is our faux fireplace. It does heat up as well, so it's really nice that in the summertime we could choose to not have heat but still have the ambiance at night of a fireplace going. And then in the wintertime we can kick it on when we need a little extra heat in our cold in here. On the top surface, if you saw the video, we found this egg at an antique store and it's just really simple but just looks cool and I always like to have a candle going and I tend to gravitate towards things that smell woodsy or leathery I love 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 like sandalwood and yeah all of these like more earthy fragrances this is the table that we also got at Ashley Home Furniture it's part of the set I like it but it's supposed to lift up and it broke within the first like six months of having it and we didn't get the warranty so I'm pretty bummed about that but it still looks nice it's just a bummer it doesn't work the way that it's supposed to because we would use it to lift up and we sit here and eat dinner so this is kind of the vibe at night and in the evenings we turn the lights on and then we can dim them as we want to start watching movies and kind of make more of a movie theater feel I love that they dim down like that and I wanna get for the rope in the corner that's dangling down, I wanna get a old ship pulley or something that is meant for, but like vintage looking maybe from a farm that's meant for wrapping rope around and then use that as a way to wrap the rope up. But because it's black and the wall is black, you can't really see it. So even with it dangling on the wall when I'm looking in the viewfinder, you can't even see it really that much. But I think when we want to switch it up and just make it feel a little bit different, we can really lower it down so it's almost like hovering over the table and I think that would look cool too. But for now, this is where we have it so we don't hit our heads. The final area that I wanted to show you is the bedroom. We'll talk about the tiger in the room, <laughs> the wallpaper. I have one of my most watched videos on TikTok is actually about how we did this wallpapering. And honestly, it's not that expensive to get Gucci wallpaper in my eyes. I felt like for $200 to do half of a wall was pretty cool and to say that it's Gucci is always like a piece that I have to say when people come here. We're not that bougie but this wallpaper is badass. So we ended up doing the molding around the center which wasn't there before and painted the walls the same color as the background of the tigers and panthers. This wall space has so much potential for a really cool piece of art. When I'm laying in bed, I want to be able to look at whatever is hanging on that wall directly across and get a sense of peace and calm, which is ironic considering the tigers, but they're behind us. I'm not staring at them when I'm sleeping. And also, I like to think of them as like my protectors. I tend to have really, really terrible dreams. Sometimes I get really bad sleep paralysis, so it would be just kind of like a nice thought that like these tigers are protecting me at night. I feel like when we look at this, we want whatever it is to bring us this sense of calm, sense of peace, sense of good vibes, feeling good, just something really special. I want it to be huge. I want whatever it to be to be the size almost of the wall so it could be a really giant piece because it's potential for something really unique. We did end up hanging the TV in here which is really nice because that also swivels and pulls out so that if my husband's not really wanting to watch anything or vice versa that we can kind of turn it to whoever's watching. So I wanted to show you guys something. If you notice that both of the lights aren't lit, it's because this one is actually on a timer and also a voice activated. So I can just with my phone, turn the light on and off. So I have this light on a timer so that at night it basically comes on automatically and I can also voice activate it in my kitchen. So if I'm thinking I'm gonna go into the bedroom soon, but it's gonna be dark in there, I can just tell the prompter to turn it on and that way when I'm heading in here, the light's already on in here. I know that sounds very like <laughs> futuristic Jetsons, but I love having it on that. And then our side tables, brown wood with gold trimming and they're Again, kind of in that mid-century model look. So we have two lights next to the bed that match, and then we also have this pendant light that has that diamond kind of teardrop look to it with the Edison bulb in it, and 
I thought something simple. I didn't want something really noticeable. I just wanted it to kind of be there. We have a rattan runner that goes through here again with the kind of trying to implement texture and different types of elements. I just, I know I, I, I'm not a decorator, but I like to pretend that I am. But whenever I see decorators or people who really know what they're doing, they always bring in different types of textures. And so I felt like, okay, I'm doing it right if I'm bringing in wood woodsy things and raw materials and aged things antique things and mixing them in with our taste and style so i really like the look of this rattan it also is very boho which i'm like boho cottage goth what is he doing and then over here we have the two chairs if you remember that i actually upcycled these for the little store that i had for a while there and then that was right towards the end of my store so i had just recently done this and then decided that i was going to actually close my store i didn't want these to go to waste i had spent a lot of time on them i love the way they look i did a black wicker which is just such a cool way to same as our house like if it's granny looking paint it black give it a different vibe so i just love the juxtaposition of those two things of something kind of like granny looking but then edgy as you can see Lacey and monkey are enjoying some leisurely time Lacey is my childhood doll and the monkey is my husband's so here's some artwork this is actually a print done by one of my husband's really good friends who has passed away um it's just nice to commemorate him in our home i don't look at skeletons and snakes and things like that as like being that dark but i guess maybe that's because i've grown up around tattoo people so it just doesn't really read that to me but yes i guess you can say a knife through a skull with a snake hanging up in the bedroom is a little unconventional but i really don't care it's just almost kind of more of a sentimental piece for us the last detail that i wanted to mention is that behind me where this curtain is that actually used to be this really ugly wood kind of 90, 90s looking doors for a closet. It's always kind of been an eyesore to us. It even was the part of the frame. So it was this really like old 90s wood. It just wasn't us. So we decided to paint the trim white to match everything else with the molding. And then we hung some curtains instead. Just we like the softened look of it. Behind it is where we have hidden a dresser. The doors were removed, taken off, we hung those, and then we were able to fit the armoire. Such a big help with the space in here, so we love the way that looks. This was just recently done over the weekend, last weekend, so it's really nice. I do also want to get new bedding. I'm thinking something more of like a linen material that would look really nice on the bed, probably in an oatmeal color or similar to the white that we have going on. Kind of redoing the bedding, but otherwise this room is pretty much almost done, which is really nice because it was a long time coming. So that is it, you guys. I just wanted to show you around. I know I haven't talked about any of the new changes that we've been making to the house. I've been kind of alluding to them in my vlogs, but I thought it'd be easier to just do one big video of just everything we've done, all the decorations we've done, link everything below that I think would be maybe something people would be interested in, like the lights or the wall pocket, you guys. You're going to want to check out the wall pockets. Those are so cool. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. Subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!